I wanted to tell a story, but you keep interrupting. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Brett? I get nervous when you stop talking. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Wait, 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 wait. How's everybody doing? is how I feel about that. <laughs> Timing was a little off, we'll work on it. These, these gags require a lot of workshopping, especially when I don't tell anyone they're gonna happen. <laughs> I got a great idea. And he's like, <gasps> Brett works really hard to do that. He has to run up there and hit the button that makes it go Excellent. like that. Otherwise, we're just standing here going. And th is that, is that, TJ, is that, that's TJ, everybody. Uh, is that commentary? A little bit of commentary. Okay. I'm afraid to open my mouth, man. Okay. So, Some of these people are new. They don't know that this is a thing. They really are starting to feel for this poor girl over here. She's about to cry. Look at her. She's about to freaking cry. Well, that would be I know it'd be, it would not be good at all. I mean, I suppose getting the emotional connection would be nice. It would be, in fact, we really need to work on that. That's just, this is, this is why I workshop. This is why we have to go through this process because otherwise I go, and that doesn't work at all. There, there are moments that work, the moments are don't. I, you know, uh, new people who don't know me very well, I'm a clown, and, and believe it or not, a lot of these shenanigans take some practice, because if I want to stick up my hand and say, Excellent. I have to prepare for that, otherwise it's just, good. <laughs> precisely, thank you, well said. And so with, that was really good. I just want to, yeah, just take a moment. And so uh, you have to workshop things. You have to try things. Most of them fail. You people are very tolerant. Very, very tolerant. And I wanted to take a moment and say that. I, I had an opportunity over the weekend uh, at an event. There's a thing clowns do. It's called a walk-around gag. And it sounds like the greatest cop-out in the world. But I assure you, it's highly full of philosophy, which is what I keep telling people who keep bringing me out to events so they don't think I'm being lazy. See, that's an example of a joke that didn't work. You see that? I told a joke and it just... <laughs> I shouldn't tell jokes. I should leave that to comedians. I'll just tell the story. So, I was out at this festival and there's a thing called a walk-around gag. And what a walk-around gag is a very simple idea. You have a thing you do. It's self-contained because you're miles from... Ba there's no backstage. I mean, here I run around a curtain and I'm backstage. I can get anything I want. Except something under 3,000 feet of anything. Uh, but I, I go and I take whatever I need for this gag, and it's self-contained. And I do it over and over and over. And that's where it sounds like I'm being lazy, but the truth is it's a philosophic journey. Every time I find an audience member who's willing to play with me, I get to tell a simple short story, and we get to find out what they bring to it. And that's really exciting to me. So I have this idea, I don't want to give the whole idea away, but the basic idea is I start out stuck. I'm tied up in something. And I sort of stand there pathetically, And I learn about the human race. You see, some people say, and walk away. <laughs> some people go, <laughs> and walk away. And I accept that I have failed. Not they have failed, they've got a fear of clowns or anything else. I failed because I haven't made them comfortable somehow. I've done something wrong. And that's okay, I'm learning, and eventually I'll get it right, and I'll make everyone love me. And in the meantime, I'll just take it home inside my heart. Thank you. So I'm, I'm out doing this thing and people begin to interact with me instead of just, or, oh, and then walking away. They actually bother to interact with me, which is, gets way more interesting. And there's a reward built in. It becomes a game. If they play with me, there's a game. So that's, that's nice. And we get to see how it goes. And some people, I learned, I'm going to tell you a secret, just you and the people on the internet. Some people are dicks. 
I'm not gonna lie, they delight in watching me go and suffer. And some, and that's good though, I was angry at the time. In character, I was like But the truth is, I see the philosophy, that was what they brought to the interaction, and that's good. Then, there are those people who mildly, they finish and they always say the same thing. And I'm gonna give you a great piece of performing advice. If somebody, when you do everything and you pour out your heart, they go, thank you. Don't perform for them. If somebody just goes, thank you, that was nice. Don't spend any time with them. They're mean, they're just being polite. I'm going to tell you a secret. Polite is boring. It's boring. I would rather have, I'd rather have the guy I thought was a dick than boring. So then there's the rare category. And I, I got lucky. I got a lot of these in one night, so I'm really amped up. I walk up stuck. I'm looking really sad. You guys are great that you keep going back there. And I'm going to tell you about one of them. There were some kids, and they were great. They played the game. They loved it. They're like, thank you. It's great. And they walked away. And then there was this woman. She was there with, I'm assuming, her whole family. And she walks up to me, and she looks at me like this, which a lot of people do that, and they usually come up with this face. So I'm very grateful that, you know, she actually, you know, looked me over. She said, are you stuck? And I said, because it occurred to me to not think to bring my voice, and I was playing mime at the time. So she goes to help me, and she, un she gets me unstuck. And of course, at each step of this thing coming off of me, I'm like, oh, thank you. I'm free, and it's great. And she's very excited. She goes, now you'll be fine. And then we start playing the game. Now, the game is not important, but the punchline of the game is pretty obvious. About a second in, you're going to realize that what she naturally wants to do ends up with me stuck again, which is convenient as a storyteller because I get to go do this somewhere else. <laughs> Clowns is very smart. But I'm doing this, and the first one hits, and I watch her get a look of horror on her face, and she, it pops out of her mouth. That's how you got stuck. <laughs> and I just looked at her. I had no choice. She, she said it out loud. I had to go... But we were so in huge amounts of eye contact, huge amounts of interaction. This is someone who's never been there. They didn't even know clowns were gonna be there. This was just happening. And she knew somewhere deep inside her, she had to finish it despite knowing where she was taking me. It was like the story had to be told. And so we finished the story and I had no idea where it was gonna go. There's that moment, I don't know. Is this good? Is this bad? I'm just stuck. And she says to me, now it's okay. You'll be ready to play with someone else. And I thought to myself, I'm so happy you said that. It's going to make it really hard to look pathetic at the next person I find. <laughs> and I go to walk away. And I turn and I look and she goes. <laughs> so I go because that's all I got, because I'm stuck. I take another step, and I look so fully, and she goes, and I go. <laughs> and she goes, Now, folks, you can't write stuff like that. <laughs> you can't. It will never happen in your life where you will come up with a moment like that. Not as long as you live, unless you're way greater than anyone I've ever met. What I will tell you is that moment came out of a simple thing, and that is this person being fully engaged, fully present, fully here. I have never had so much fun anywhere outside these walls because I got to take the energy I learned here where I just assume you're with me anywhere stupid I choose to go and just made the assumption and then I got very lucky and I hope someday she shows up here because then she'll go, oh, this is where I belong right here at the open stage, welcome I did that 80 times in one night but that one was the best <laughs> true story well, I've, been, I've been running my mouth, you guys want to have some fun? Good, because I want to get off here because I'm starting to get self-conscious talking about being stuck.